Hello YouTube, today we're going to cover a quick Python program on how to calculate the area of a square based pyramid along with the volume of this pyramid. Um, basically what this is going to teach you how to do is how to take variables and store them into a user input and then assign other variables um, performing basic calculations to get the results we need and then being able to print them out to the screen. Um, so this is really a simple program to do, it's only a few lines of code. All we need to do is first create our variable side length um, and then set it equal to a float because we need to actually make sure that if we're working with decimals um, with math that uh, we have the float set because working with whole integers sometimes isn't going to work um, especially when the numbers can have decimals added to them when you're dividing or multiplying by say a third or you know a fifth or something like that so we need to set a float and then we need to put input so we can actually get the input of the user. We're just going to tell them to please input the side length of the pyramid base. Okay. And now we're going to create a variable called height. And we're going to again do a float and do an input again. And we're going to say please input the height of the pyramid. <clears throat> Alright, so once we've done this, we need to actually do the basic calculations here to uh, find the area of the base of the pyramid and then to find the volume of the pyramid itself. Now, there's two simple formulas for this. Um, the area of the base of the pyramid is just the side length here um, squared. And so to do that, we're going to type in another variable called area. We do this so that we can print this out to the screen later. And we're going to do again another float to make sure that we're working properly with our integers and uh, any decimal points that we may have. And then we're just going to take the side length and multiply it again by itself. Alright. And then for the volume, we'll create a variable for that. And again, do another float. And we'll take the area multiplied by the height and then we're going to multiply that by one-third. Now, in order for this to work properly, we need to make sure that we have the proper order of operations. So we need to put area and height within its own parentheses set. And by doing that, we now can calculate the proper volume. Now, to display this information to the user on the screen, what we need to do is type in a print statement. And we're just going to say the area of the square base pyramid is, put a, a little comma mark here and then type in the uh, variable that we have it set to which is area and then we'll do another simple print statement here the volume of the square based pyramid is and then we'll just type in volume which is our variable that we set above now, um, if you're doing this in Linux or anything like that, you'll notice that when you open this Python as an executable file, that you can look at it right there in the console and have no problems. But uh, in Windows, when you do this, after you put in the side length and the height uh, inputs, it'll flash real quick and then go away. So what we need to do is put an input statement down here at the bottom to make sure that we keep that command prompt window open. So we'll save this as pyramid.py. and then we'll run it by hitting F5 alright and it asks us here to please input the side length of the pyramid base so we're going to put in 5 and now it asks us to please input the height of the pyramid which we'll say is 10 and as you can see here the area of the square base pyramid is 25 and the volume of the square base pyramid is 83.333 um, and this is why we use floats because um, with this number right here if we did not have it set to a float it would uh, not display properly so that's uh, very important to note and once we hit the enter button here you'll see these uh, three little uh, greater than signs here pop up <clears throat> now just to show you guys what I meant by clicking the executable in Windows we'll go and find our file here and just double click on it and now it asks us to please input the length of the pyramid base and the height and now that you can see our window stays open as soon as I hit enter though, the window goes away.
If I were to take that input out, the window would just flash as soon as I hit the 10 in there uh, for the height, and we wouldn't see our answer. So that's very important that you um, account for that for Windows-based computers by putting that input back at the bottom. Well, I hope this helped you guys out. Um, if you have any questions, please comment below or send me a message in my in inbox, and I'll be more than happy to help you out. Again, thank you for watching, and have a great day.